Search 20 decided what to start off with in chemistry and I was going through the topics that people were sending me and then I saw this comment Bro, we're talking my language Say no more, let's do some organic chemistry for the people This is carbon, organic chemistry is the study of compounds containing carbon. Now carbon is one of the most fascinating elements primarily because of the presence of four valence electrons that is be tossed to bond with nearly everything. Right? One of the favorite things for it to bond with is hydrogen. This compound is called methane. One carbon, four hydrogen atoms on all of the bonds here. One of the simplest organic compounds that you can find, methane. Carbon also loves to bond with itself. This ability for carbon to just keep bonding with itself continuously, we have a word for that. Catenation, the ability of carbon atoms to bond covalently with other carbon atoms to form chains and rings of carbon atoms. Now for CXC you need to know some of the ways this can happen. So we can get single bonds. So notice how there's only one bond between the carbons in this molecule of ethane. You can have double bonds. So there are two bonds here between the carbon and this ethene molecule but there will be less hydrogen because we still must use just four bonds between the carbon one two three four and for this guy one two three four we can have unbranched chains notice how the carbons are in a straight chain or we can have branched chains That look like this. Carbon can even go really crazy and have stuff like rings. And the rings can be single bond or form double bonds between adjacent carbon atoms. Fun stuff. Here's an example of an organic compound. Can you tell what it is? Did you notice that every carbon still has four bond states? And did you notice the double bond to the O? and a single bond to O and a next single bond to H. This O here represents oxygen. This little section here, COOH, that's the functional group for this, this molecule. This makes it who it is. This gives it character. Um, and we'll talk more about that in the next video. For now, you can separate that this group here makes it an acid and specifically propanoic acid. Now there are different ways we can write the formula for propanoic acid. There are three main ways actually we can write formulae for um, organic compounds. Let's look at it. The first way is the fully displayed structural formula. Second way is the condensed structural formula. And the third way is the molecular formula. Alright, so the structural formula of propanoic acid will look like this. So, you'll notice how we have lines between every single atom in the molecule, right? We could condense this to the condensed structural formula. This is the fully displayed structural formula. This one, we, we condense it. And I'm just still matching up here now. C3, CH3, CH2, COOH. So, this is a condensed version. I could condense this even more by shortening up the hydrogen carbon part because that's that's not really that important for to us we want to know the functional group right so the functional group get exposed but you know we condense up that so this is condensed versions and then we could just have the molecular formula which just tell us the number of carbons we have so you just count it up one two three six hydrogen and two o's two oxygens all right so molecular formula condensed fully displayed structure 
condensed structure. So this tells us how much of each atom there is in one molecule of the compound. So this is the molecular formula. In the next two videos, we will look at homologous series and isomers. Stay tuned.